you welcome back to my channel today I'm going to talk to you about how I create a painting the process involved and how I get my inspirations if you're interested then keep on watching before we begin I want to put it out there that I'm not a professional I'm completely self-taught painting is a hobby of mine and over the course of years I've gotten good at it I've gotten very skillful or so people around me say um, so I just want to share my thoughts with you guys now if the painting is done from a reference photograph then there is no much thought involved I just try to duplicate the reference photograph that I've taken now but if I want to draw something really creative that cannot be captured in a reference photograph then this is the process that I follow so to help me explain what I want to explain I'm going to take the help of a recent painting that I did which is this if you click on it right now you can go and watch the speed painting now First, I had to get inspired. My inspiration was from a book, or rather a series of books, that I've been reading almost a year ago, and it was by Amanda Hawking, and those are the Kind Chronicles, I believe, and it's a magical story about trolls and their magical powers. So my inspiration was a troll with the power to control water. So first, what I tried to do is sketch something just from my mind i try try to sketch something and once i'm i'm like okay the sketch is good then i try to take a reference photograph similar to the pose which is in my sketch once i take the reference photograph i try to add details to my sketch for example the eyes nose mouth and hands and the face entirely is not perfect without the reference photograph. Now what I do is try to perfect it as much as possible. After I've done that, I try to add details. Now here's a sketch that I did for this painting. As you can see, the face and the hand would not be perfect in the original sketch that I did without using the reference photograph. After I use the reference photograph, these are a bit more crisp and a bit more detailed then I try to add some other details for example in this paint in this sketch I try to add uh, the gills and neck piece and a dress and a small tattoo in the hand and also a water going up that is what I've added um, so this was the sketch that I did for this painting. For this particular sketch, it took me five to six months to get satisfied and convince myself that it's time now to convert this sketch into a painting because I always want to add more details, more elements, and I'm not easily satisfied. One of my friends asked me if I use grids to transform my sketch onto the canvas. No, I don't. I know many artists do use grids I myself tried it once in a sketchbook and figured I'm too lazy for that so I don't use grids I just transfer it onto the canvas with a free hand now the sketch is relatively easy because I don't care about how the light is here but when it comes to adding color light plays a really important role and for that again it's completely out of imagination because you don't have a reference photograph I try to imagine that there is this light coming from this direction and try to build upon it this particular step is not perfect I just again try to satisfy myself and do as much as I can sometimes I add more details to my painting sometimes I decide I don't want this detail but other than that that is it that I do for my painting and one more thing I want to point out is that when you start a painting you always want to achieve perfection and perfection is not something that you can achieve in a single piece it is a long time goal you get perfect as you practice but it is really really tempting um, not to stop a painting and try to achieve perfection so I try to draw a line somewhere um, at some point I look at the painting as a viewer and if I'm satisfied with that I stop I just correct some bits and pieces that I think are still missing but other than that, I try to stop myself. That is it for this video. I hope you guys find this video helpful. I also want to talk to you about what I want my channel to be. That is because I've uploaded a, a haul video, a 5 minute makeup challenge. And it could be a bit confusing considering the fact that I've uploaded only 
odd videos for the past one and a half year um i want to make the channel a art beauty fashion channel that is because all of these are my hobbies and i want to share all of my hobbies equally i want my channel to be a platform where i can talk to you guys about art beauty and fashion i also want to point out that my schedule has been unpredictable even to me um so i've decided that i'm going to upload a video every thursday so subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of art beauty and fashion it would help me a lot like and share this video if you find it helpful and i will see you all next time bye guys